Welcome traders to another Tick Mill trading update with me, Patrick Manley. I want to take a look at the dollar index. I'm also going to cross-reference that with price action that we're looking at in the euro dollar and identify some potential trading opportunities. We're using a multi-time frame analysis from the weekly, daily and intraday trigger charts, being the hourly charts uh, for this setup. So just looking at the daily pattern that we have in place at the moment, I'm tracking a potential um, five-wave sequence in the dollar index an interim five wave sequence anyway, uh, with this five equals one objective taking us down into the uh, 99.39 handle. Uh, if we look at the FIB retracement of our potential wave four, wave three to four high, that coincides with the 161 extension from that 101.90. So we're looking at 99.39 on the downside. Moving to the intraday time frame. We are looking at an hourly sequence now, looking for a high to be put in here, an interim wave four high into the 120, 130 area. Then I'm looking for a five equals one downside extension into the 99.70. Obviously, we have the downside target 99.39. So anywhere between 99.70 and 99.40, excuse me, I'm watching for bullish reversal patterns. I want to engage on the long side then. And then we're targeting this higher degree uh, potential wave two scenarios. So uh, what I've been looking for then, if we look at it on the uh, this time frame, will be um, this pattern to complete here. And then we look for a wave two high, which should likely see us trade back up into the uh, trend channel resistance, 101.70s, 102 handle before we see if we're going to make another low to complete the higher degree uh, cycle here, which um, then likely have us trading down into the 9860 area. So that's the pattern we're looking for here. We're looking for a high to complete into the 120, 130 area. We're looking for one more low to complete the sequence. Obviously, we like to see momentum divergence in play. We've certainly got it on the daily time frame, and we sh and it looks like we're setting up to have it here on the intraday hourly time frame as well. So we make this new low. We don't get a new low in terms of momentum. Then we're going to be looking for our uh, our trade to the long side. Moving to the euro dollar, we have the inverse pattern setting up here with uh, with the euro dollar. I'm just going to focus on the intraday uh, pat price pattern here. You can uh, you can work out the overlay in terms of the daily. It's pretty much the same inverse, obviously, to the dollar index. So I'm looking for us to hold intraday into the uh, 111.70s, uh, 111.60s. Make another push up into uh, the 112.12. From there, I'm watching for momentum divergence to engage on the short side for another move back down to take a look at, uh, at the 111.60s again before making a final push to ultimately test and fail again into the 112.20, 112.30. Again, paying attention to that momentum divergence. And then we're going to look for a much deeper corrected move back into test the high volume node here at the uh, 111.20s. So those are a couple of opportunities I'm tracking in terms of the dollar index and the euro dollar as we head into the next couple of sessions. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.